Alright, how's it going? Or as they say in Kellogg's, bonjour, ça va? We're back again this week with an episode focusing on Ash's team in Hoenn. So we'll look at the names of his Pokemon in English, we'll look at them in French, see if there's any similarities between them. So the first Pokemon Ash caught in Hoenn was Taillo, its name being a combination of the bird that it's based upon, the swallow, and tail, referring to its striking V-shaped tail that's key to its design. When we look at French now, we see Nirondelle, with the end of the name here taken from the translation for swallow in French of Nirondelle. But to start, instead this time, we don't have tail, we have ni, the French word for nest. I do actually think the French name suits it a little bit better, with nest referring more to birds than tail would do, so it's more obvious that we're dealing with a flying type Pokemon here. Moving on to tail's evolution and swallow. Well, this is kind of a pun, a bit of a play on words. We've got swallow again, but we now have the word swell. It's a word that's not really used very often now, it's a bit old fashioned. It sort of says, I'm doing alright, I'm pretty good. I don't know, I usually say, love the puns, but this one seems a little bit forced. It's not that great, is it? French, on the other hand, goes for a bit of a combination of many different words. Again, it has the irondel at the end of elidel. The start, taken likely from elis, the word for propeller, so referring to its flying type again, and el, wing. So we've already seen today, it's more focused in French on referring to the type of the Pokemon and the design that it's based upon. We've got another evolution line now in Corfish, which in French is Ecrapance, the end pants. You probably won't see it straight away as being like a pincer, pliers, not that pincer. And in the middle we have Crab. But when we look in more detail at the Pokemon, compare it to Pokemon like Krabby, Kingler, it doesn't look much like a crab. It's actually based upon a crayfish, which in French is Ecravis. And we see this over in English too, as Crawfish is a pun on the crawfish, the US name for crayfish. The start instead is referring to corporal. I'm not really sure where that comes from, it doesn't really look like it has much military authority here. And it's pretty much probably only so we can have the crawfish pun. When we move on to Crawdon though, the corporal we had in Crawfish makes a bit more sense maybe, because we have Galamard. With the start of that, likely taken from Colonel, another military rank, and one that's in fact superior to Corporal. The end as well focuses again on the design of the Pokemon, and it's now a lobster, of which the French word is Armard. And the design of this can definitely tell it's a lobster, although its French name's a bit odd perhaps. It's definitely more interesting than the English name, where we have a Crawfish again at the start in Crawdon, and the daunt at the end referring to a sense of intimidation, apprehension, which I wouldn't say it's that intimidating, and it didn't even have the ability to intimidate in the games. While on the topic of Pokemon names, you can obviously see straight away what they're taken from. We have Torkoal, Tortoise, and Coal. Pokemon just loves changing the C's to K's, doesn't it? French is at least a bit more interesting with having Chateau. It's obvious that we have Tortu at the end for Tortoise, as we've seen quite a few times in the past. At the start, Char could refer to Chabon, Coal, as we had in English, or it could refer to Char on its own, which would roughly translate to tank, and is sort of a shortening of chariot. And I guess this refers to the sturdy and defensive nature of this Pokemon where it can hide within its shell. Right, so we had a pun earlier, and I told you I wasn't a fan of it. This one I do like. Apon, taken from ape and palm. It's quite subtle, I think, so it makes it a little bit fun. In French, we have something similar. It's not a pun, but we have Gabouma, the man referring to hand, so the palm that we had on the tail before, and the start, Gabousan. It's a type of monkey species, and they were quite often used in TV and film. It's so very easy to train, which I suppose is quite fitting for a Pokemon. In a palm's evolution now, we have Ambipalm. And in French, we keep the Capoussin at the start of the name in Capidext, but the end is now referring to its two hands that it has on its tail in Ambidext, so Ambidextrous, and we see this in English name too, of Ambipalm referring to Ambidextrous and Palm. So I quite like how they avoided going for a name like Two Palm or Dose Palm or whatever stupid name they could have come up with having two. And although being a kid's game, it's supposed to be fairly basic, I do like how they try and have an element of expanded vocabulary in the games. Right, so that rounds up Ash's Hoenn team. You might notice there are a couple of Pokemon missing there, and if you're familiar with the series, you'll realise that they probably overlap in a different episode, so I'll leave the links to those down in the description. Might not have even done one of them yet. 
This is a bit of a shorter episode than I tend to do, so let me know what you thought of me doing that. Maybe you prefer the longer episodes, a bit more chit-chat in them. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Cheers!